It's our anniversary and I am bringing Jim a little breakfast in bed picnic. I make really great biscuits from scratch. That's like one of the only things I can cook. These are not them, but these will do. It got cold enough to have a little bit of color in the trees. It was very cold around Christmas, like super duper cold. Nine years ago today, I had my first date with Jim Doyle. I guess it went okay because we are married now. Yeah, we basically just had our first date at Hollywood Studios. Went to see the Osborne Lights and went to Brown Derby and just got to know each other. And uh, I, we actually talked about this like not that long ago, so I'll link that video. Um, and we just talked about how we met and stuff. But yeah, so today, of course, we're having a home celebration. And we just put together a little lunch for ourselves of all of our favorite kinds of little things to uh, little snackies and stuff. We went to Publix this morning, went pretty early, maybe around 9 or so, and it was good. We don't go to the store that much these days, so um, it's like an event when we do, and it was nice. We got to get some flowers. These are my favorite color roses. I actually carried ones that looked just like this. They're like actually like a pink. I don't know if you can tell on camera, but um, for our wedding, I had Trader Joe's roses that look just like this and we call them Mrs. Doyle's pink roses and then we got this is like a plant-based buffalo dip very excited a veggie tray our favorite little cheeses and spreads and these black bean quinoa chips are so good I love them happy anniversary happy anniversary I'm excited I know this looks really good front row at the carrot show you just, you're just keeping an eye on them? The dips were so good. I wanted to show you the brand of this one. I guess it's just called Good Foods Buffalo Style Dip. And then this is like a fan favorite around here. Fresh Cravings Kicking Queso. So good. Um, I was getting this from Walmart actually over the summer. We're having a little Christmas light date night, as you do. Our little friends. We're back at Give Kids the World tonight at Night of a Million Lights. I was so curious what the crowds would be like now that the holiday is over. I mean, Christmas Day. You know, I know people like to do a lot of festivities up until Christmas Day. I like to keep going for a bit after. And we're actually here because they have um, like a like a shop for the volunteers. So we're going to go and see what's in there. And if we want to get a little something. I have a lot of videos about this place and this event and I will put them below. We spent a lot of time here this year and it really feels like being home. This is even more special to me now that I've watched this 75 million times this year. Home Loan Bricks. All right, we did a little shopping. I got a Night of a Million Lights sweater. I'm very excited. Um, also, met Mayor Clayton again. He has his little regular suit on, so it was very cute. I also heard that there's like some special guests tonight, so I saw somebody using the um, the glasses and I said to Jim like, oh I wish we had ours, and he reached into his pocket. And I pulled out nothing. He did that like three times, but then he pulled these out. <laughs> he actually had them. <laughs> The angels are so pretty. They and were they... actually in my other coat, and I put them in this jacket. You you did it on purpose? Yeah. Man, you're cute. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. I totally forgot. We also have gingerbread man and uh, snowflakes. Stars. Stars. I picked stars. Yeah. The angels flap their wings. Let me see if I can show you. Okay, you can kind of see it. You can't see the flapping, but just believe me. There's a piano player at the pool tonight when he just sang the Olaf song. Isn't this like the best pool? You know like when you're a kid and there's a fountain in the pool and you're just like, yes, this has all the fountains. Jimmy, Morris, Chester. <laughs> that, was weird. that was, that was really weird. Now? Listen. Okay. Sorry. But do you recall the most 
famous reindeer of all. Had a very shiny nose. Some of our friends got to meet John Stamos tonight. He was here and he's, uh, I think, a really good friend to give kids a world, which is always like really nice to hear. So that was pretty neat. We got to see him walking around. Um, and now we're gonna go see the tree trail. All right, so if you've been around here, you know we volunteered and we got to help set up this event and it was so fun and so amazing. They have all kinds of cool volunteer opportunities throughout the year. So if you happen to live here or would want to volunteer on your vacation, gktw.org slash volunteer. But one of the last things we did was set up these ladder Christmas trees and I, that might be my favorite thing we did. I don't know, I have so many favorite things. But they're just so simple, I love them. This is my favorite part. The best. I am delighted, I wasn't sure if there would still be people here celebrating and yeah, it looks like a good night for uh, this event. So also, I'm a person that likes to say goodbye 10 times to things I love, so. <laughs> I'm so glad we're gonna come back and volunteer. Um, and you know what, now that I'm walking by this house, I don't know if you guys have heard of these lights. I actually got an Instagram ad for this company and the company is called Twinkly. And this house is pretty cool, but like if you look, if you are into Christmas lights, they are like programmable with an app and they were kind of pricey, um, but like, you know, if you're going to invest in something you can use for a long time like that. They looked really cool. I'm going to miss this event so much. So much. You grooving? Yeah. Earlier on Instagram, I mentioned my favorite Christmas album, or one of them. My favorite Christmas, Christmas album right now is, I think it's just called Merry Christmas from Johnny Mathis. It like starts with Winter Wonderland. It's so good. I used to listen to it, you know, when I was growing up. And I love it so much. Um, and some, I said I wanted to like see him, like a life goal for me, because he still performs. Anyway, um, this other Christmas album we've been loving is the Sia Christmas album. Is it Sia? Is it Sia? I think it's Sia. Sia. You know who I'm talking about. She has an incredible Christmas album that's so good. And typically I only like traditional Christmas songs. Like, you know, I like some new ones, like All I Want For Christmas Is You. But if people like make Christmas music, I like it to be like Christmas songs you know, but them just like singing it. This one is not that, and it's so good. She's got a song about puppies. You will cry. I apologize in advance. So beautiful. This is Mary Clayton's garden. Oh, it's beautiful without the lights and then this whole thing is just unreal. We're headed out. I'm so happy we got to be here for our anniversary. It was so cool to see John Stamos. I'm so glad he's a fan of this place. And uh, yeah, I think we might get some takeout. Bye guys, have a magical day.